Jigara, hey ya, hey. From the greatest land on the planet. All oh, the clicks aren't working with me, there we go. Da, 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 da. <laughs> 90% of the time my yawns turn into the circle of life Anyway, good morning everybody. I am looking in absolute shambles this morning. <laughs> I have just Essentially woken up although Heart 70s radio which is still going. What have we got right now? We had the Beatles a second ago. I'm not sure what this is but Heart 70s radio is our alarm But that has been going for two hours <laughs> I snoozed my way through that for two hours. Do you know what? I'd set my alarm with the intention because it's bank holiday Monday today. It's only been a few days since I got back from the trip that I was on in the last vlog. I almost said the brand name then. <laughs> I had the intention of starting this Monday like back on track, back up nice and early. But then I also was like, yeah, but it's bank holiday Monday. We don't get too many of them. Maybe we could snooze a little bit. That didn't happen. We snoozed, but it's bank holiday. So I'll, um, I'll let myself off. <laughs> I do actually have two shoot days after today too, so I'm still gonna get back on track just with slightly less of an early start, <laughs> which is at the end of the world, but still feeling like super sleep deprived. Past two days since I've been home, I have been walking around like a zombie, like my body, my mind is ready to go, but my body is saying no, it just won't compute with my, my brain, like my energy levels are so low, I just keep lying down and just not being able to get up. I think I worked out I had 12 hours sleep over five nights or maybe it was over four nights actually because that would be excessive yeah 12 hours sleep over four nights so I think my body just was really needed to do not much voice is still not really there either as you can probably hear <laughs> but anyway we are gonna have a lovely week together I'm kind of just gonna be getting back into routine I want really want to get back into like a proper fitness routine this week because it's been a bit all over the shop while we've been in Ibiza and in America before that so yeah do you know what <laughs> I was thinking when I woke up this is another really weird sleep thing that happens to me uh, I don't think I've ever spoke about this even with Niall I mean it's not that weird but it is a bit weird it happened last night and I woke up really confused because I do this thing where I get really hot in the night so I like half asleep in my sleep take off my pajama bottoms <laughs> and then like I wake up thinking where am I because I haven't really been sleeping at home recently I think that's probably why it happened specifically last night and I was like oh my god what <laughs> what if I'm in like a public bedroom or I'm sharing a bed with someone and I've just got nothing on the bottom and I get really worried and then put them back on in my sleep I don't know <laughs> and what I know is like sharing a bed on the other side of the room or something and then I'm just there with like full frontal nude on the bottom <laughs> anyway that happened last night and I thought it was funny because I went to sleep wearing a full set of pajamas and woke up not I remember waking up on and off taking them off putting them back on <laughs> then taking them back on because I was just paranoid that someone was going to see me naked. I'm going to wake up and go and get my overnight oats, I think, and have some water and a nice coffee. I think we're going to go for our late morning walk today. Usually it's, it's not at this time, but we're going to go for our morning walk, I hope. And you know what the other thing I thought that me and Niall had started doing, but we completely forgot about? Niall, do you know what we stopped doing? Do you remember we were putting our phones downstairs when we went to bed? I thought this morning I missed that because I picked my phone straight up and I was like basically we decided that we were going to leave our phones down here while we went to sleep so that <laughs> we I was just telling them <laughs> that I, I do this thing in my sleep sometimes where I take off my pajama bottoms like in my sleep and then right, it's and, and it's no, a bit but, early for that isn't it <laughs> no it's not early because i we slept through the alarm no but and then i panic because i think someone's in the room or like yeah me no but i panic that like i'm in a public setting and someone's gonna see me naked so i put them back on are you dreaming that you're in oxford street getting naked no but you know that you share a room with people 
that's why I ended it. You're still in Ibiza. I bet you had your own room. Yeah, I had my own room in Ibiza. But I don't know, I just still feel like, what if someone opened the door and then just naked in my asleep? No, like, no, I would never know. But yeah, anyway, we, we were starting to leave our phones downstairs when we went to bed, weren't we? And I actually really, really liked it. I think I slept better because especially when I went to bed, I wasn't, like, doing work on my phone before bed or just doing anything on my phone, which then makes you makes it harder for you to sleep because your brain's really busy. I don't know how I'm going to talk through this vlog. My throat is not there still. <laughs> I'll talk for you. I think I'm going to try and do that again with the phone, so. I'm to talk for you. Right, first port of call. I've got that, that um, saying down now. <laughs> port of call. That's protocol. Protocol. <laughs> remember in LA, do you remember I say it? I was like, I don't know why this is suddenly becoming my language, but. <laughs> so, first up, we're gonna have our overnight. Oh, look! Did you get talking to you? Good morning. Did you have a nice lion too, didn't you? Oh, I've barely seen you recently. And you little man. She sulks all the time when you got around. Does she really? She does a bit, yeah. Oh, blue bell. She always seems a bit fed up. So. Oh, you're a little mummy's girl, aren't you? Oh, it's because I'm the only one that will spoon her to sleep. <laughs> you don't I like do. doing it. No, I do. I try to. Did you? Yeah. Oh, Blue Pal, you're such a little queen, aren't you? She's the perfect teddy bear size, don't you think? <laughs> you're just the bestest, aren't you, Blue Bear? She's just so cuddly. I know. She's so soft and... Some dogs don't really like that, they get really hot. And I'm surprised she doesn't, because she's got so much fluff. But Bluey loves a cuddle, don't you? She actually gets mad at me and Niall if we don't let her in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't she? She like stares at us and scratches the duvet like, excuse me, I'm in the middle. <laughs> Don't you know? She cries as well actually, doesn't she? In the night. She she's... cries in the night if she can't well, get in under the covers. Well, because we stopped saying she can be in the middle with both of us. Yeah. You, start, you started going, right, you're not in the middle, and then she just feels <laughs> left out and she whines and wakes us up. She actually does. But I put her on my side and then it's fine. Yeah, we're talking about you. Yeah, <laughs> she just kicked. Talk about you, Blue. Most doggies don't live that way, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can not look at little feet. Oh, look, why are you kicking? Why are you kicking this bird? No, she keeps going. Why are you kicking? She gets excited. <laughs> what are you doing? So cute, you are good girl. You as well? You're back into your routine this week. Yeah, it's back into routine vlog today. I've got an, a whole new workout schedule I'm going to talk to you about when I go to the gym in a bit. And also I'm going to start wearing the Fitbit again because this really encouraged me to move more. I know they don't work for everybody, some people find them a bit stressful, but I actually really like wearing mine because it just encourages me to move more if it, I haven't like stepped much during that day. It's only really the steps that I look at. Also, this is still set to America time zone. Is it? <laughs> it says it's 2am. What, your Fitbit? Yeah. Well, bloody you update it then, mate. I'm going to record my steps today. I'm going to try and aim for 12,000 a day. It was 10, and I think I found that pretty doable. I want to see if I can try and aim How every do day that, to do though? 12. You're going to just go walking around the places, aren't you? I'll, I'll walk around the kitchen in the evening if I have to. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> So I just want to make sure I move a lot more because I feel a bit like a slug from the past few weeks. So that is one of my new goals. What I actually also want to do is go back to that list of like mini goals I wrote and like go through them and how I'm doing with them and if I've completed them, if I've got any new ones. So we'll do that in a bit too, but first up breakfast. Yeah, buddy. And... Homemade iced coffee, but I'm gonna make that with you in a sec, I think. I'm gonna try and make a frappe. Do you remember I used to make them? Oh. oh, look at that. We've just made some homemade frappes. One of mine and Niall's favorite coffees is the Starbucks coffee frappe. So it's just basically the frappe without any of the flavorings. And it's so it's good. Not it's not green. <laughs> what do you it's mean? Blue. In America, they don't, they, they name their, their drinks after colours. The pink drink. The pink Apparently drink. that's really nice. I wanted to try that when we were there, but we didn't. That's supposed Stop to be us. good. I just sound like a grumpy old man. <laughs> you do sound like a grumpy old man. You have to stop, stop yourself. 
grumpy. Oh, shush. Oh, shush, you grumpy old sod. No, but I do. I don't like those sugar drinks. I actually just don't like those sugar drinks. I don't think they're I, I think the pink drink's supposed to be nice. Let us know, actually. Any Americas watching, why do people love the pink drink? Because I didn't get to taste it, so. Like pink gin. Oh, I do like a pink, pink gin. Pink gin I like. <laughs> anyway, we decided to make ourselves a frappe for our walk this morning. So this is in, inspired by the Starbucks coffee frappe. If you have, blah, my leg, there's a freaking tornado Sorry. going on in it. <laughs> if you haven't tried the just plain coffee frappe at Starbucks, trust me, it's really, really nice. We also put in some of this. You know, I, I ordered this trying to copy the local bakery's iced coffees because they had this vanilla syrup, but it wasn't syrup, it was like cream. And it is honestly the best coffees I've ever tasted there. And I thought this might be the same because it was a vanilla creamer, but <clears throat> I think it's similar, but it's got that like slight, almost protein, like fake taste this one does. But it's close, so we put some of this in. I'm really loving vanilla in my coffee at the moment, so we're gonna pour some of this into some cups and take them on the go, aren't we, doggies? You ready for a walk? Do you wanna go for a walk? Go on then. Oh, look, guess whose birthday it is next week? This little man's. Uh, I know, they're gonna be two. <laughs> what are you doing? She's nuzzling into my, um, you got a twin, Buzz. Down below. <laughs> Buzzy, you got a twin. Buzzy, is it your birthday next weekend? Is it your birthday? You gonna see Dill? Is it your birthday? Oh look, he's excited. Oh yeah, give your sister a kiss, good boy. Guys, guess what I fell asleep to last night? <laughs> Harry Styles' voice <laughs> on the car map. I think I've listened to that before. It was someone when... else though, wasn't it, by the end? Was it? I thought I was asleep by then. He, he sent me. <laughs> Do you know, it was so funny though. So he he rhymed loads in it, and he was like, "Something ability, then you will have the facility." <laughs> when I was I was half asleep, like laughing to myself, falling asleep to his voice. But I would highly recommend if you want something to send you to sleep, listen to Harry Styles's um, car map thingy because it was really really good. I'm really, just he's got a really boring voice. No, he's got a great voice. Dreamy. He's got a great northern accent. I can't remember what, where he's from now, but it's just so smooth. <laughs> and I was like, get Harry out of my bed. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want Harry in my bed. <laughs> Did you? Really I put a story up of you saying it. it was so funny. We need to learn his dance together. Nah, no, I'm alright. No, let me sh let me just show you what he does. He goes like this. I'm determined to learn it. He looks so good. He's like, uh, yeah, might need a bit of work. <laughs> I'm the, I know, what, I know. Do you know what I mean? He's like shaking. Like but shimmy. he's like, he looks so free. I didn't actually tell you how we made these frappes. So it was very. It's basically just making an iced coffee. So your ice, your your little espresso espresso shot or you know homemade one with just coffee and a little bit of water and then lots of milk and ice and we put vanilla in whap it in the blender good to go so it's just a nice way of mixing it up if you if you want to try something other than the general iced coffee isn't it yeah not it's not, not quite, quite starbucks no not quite starbucks <laughs> look at niall's cup versus mine as well what did you just say on your story Mine's like bouge and yours is the nuts and bolts. It's a depiction of our relationship. <laughs> yours is glam and mine is a bit... <laughs> I'm not that glam. Who's going around like Ibiza with a hairstylist and makeup artist in you the taxi? You for a photo shoot? <laughs> hey, did you see that story? Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even looking like a car and I'm like trying to open it. <laughs> Guys, yeah, look who my driver is today. <laughs> oh, oh, you need to um, un double unlock. I don't know why a dog does that, it's annoying actually because when I go take the dogs for a walk and I park up like it obviously on the side of the road so it's like yeah, I, I don't know why in then... the Beetle you've got a double unlock to get the <laughs> Look how far that is and then your legs I've never, I've never <laughs> sat this side of the no. Beetle Are you not? No I haven't what? I suppose Niall's never drived it has it? No he hasn't Never drived it Drived no. it! <laughs> When I said it, I was like, oh, it's the nibs. No. It's the, this is the first time Carl's driven with anybody in with the car. With someone in the car, other than your instructor. Oh, my heart's actually going. 
don't feel like that, Carl. Wait, where'd I put my phone? Hang on. I can drive, honestly, I passed. Yeah, no, I... I <laughs> <laughs> so Carl's got insured on the beat. So we're now um, oh, sharing, dear. which is fun. So um, we're going to go to the gym together, but I've never seen Carl Even drive. like last week was there, I had for a week I didn't listen to music in it at all because I was trying to concentrate. Did you really? And this is like the first week I've been listening to music. We don't have to have any other I don't mind having, having the radio on. <laughs> I'm a bit uh, nervous, I'm not going to lie. Are you enjoying driving it though? Yeah, I am, yeah. I think it suits you, hun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just need to get the flower back that flew away there. It's quite a difficult car to drive though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is a bit weird. It's clunky. Wow, I've got like the butterfly feeling so much. <laughs> <laughs> You, can, you don't have to say 10. <laughs> yeah, because you didn't like the reverse lunges, did you? The barbell ones. You're okay with the dumbbell, though? Yeah, dumbbell was fine. It's the barbell. Smashed it. I won't cabbage you. That's what I straight away as soon as I thought. I was going to smudge you. You know, now you've got a camera, I feel like I'm doing like a YouTube group. We are. Yeah, like Remember, we're the trio, me and before. Niall somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, I've got friends. Oh, does it? Yeah, I've, I've, I've never watched it. Like the are sitting at the back and they're like, <laughs> new videos. So, do they? Yeah. <laughs> Where's Niall when you need him? We need our third part of the trio. Is he, is he over yeah. there? Oh, there he is. There's our... <laughs> Dead hand gang. <laughs> Niall. Niall, third musketeer. Niall. <laughs> <laughs> He's in his own world. Gets away. <laughs> Three guesses what I made for lunch. <laughs> it's the same as ever. I mean, I don't have this all the time. I haven't had this in a while. These two are literally, wait, <laughs> Blue Ball just gave up, but these two, whenever I get tuna tins out, go absolutely wild. Do you know what? It just made me feel a little bit sad for a moment because Poppy she used to literally run from the bottom of the garden somehow she knew i think she could smell it from <laughs> from all the way down there she if there was tuna pop was there and it does make me a bit sad because yeah it just always reminds me of that but these two are the same as well <laughs> and you're not a cat it's cats that are usually obsessed with fish not little dogs <laughs> but anyway i have made myself my favorite lunch which is my tuna sweet corn mayo and parmesan pasta so I'm gonna have some of this and I've got the other half of the tin for tomorrow which is one of my favorite things about this because you can get two meals out of one tin I find so I'm gonna have this but I realize I still haven't spoken to you about let's go and sit down here change up the scenery a bit <laughs> I haven't spoken to you yet about my new goals so I set myself some new goals and I just had a quick look through my old little goals which I'd set with you in another vlog and I'm really pleased actually how many I feel like I've hit the reason I like doing it like this is I find that it's a little bit less overwhelming when I've got small little things that I want to hit a when you accomplish one it just feels amazing but I feel like it's less overwhelming and less pressure than having, I don't know, kind of a massive goal in mind. I just find that this really works for me because as I said before, I feel like small little goals add up to big results and it's just really motivating when you hit one. So with my old list, I'm not going to go over it too long because you have seen it before, but I do actually think I have hit the majority of them. A lot of my goals before were focused on hitting personal bests in exercises. Now I'm not going to really be focusing quite so much on that because I want to 
add quite a lot of high intensity sprint sessions in now. I was kind of doing like two a week before and I want to try it up it to three possibly four because it just makes me feel amazing and within the new beyond guide glow which i just started today which me and carl did the first lower body on which was really really good actually i'll go a little bit more into that but with that guide there are some amazing cardio sessions within the weights workouts so i'm just going to tell you quickly my current new little goals i do have one where i want to try and target slightly more reps on a certain weight on my squats so i want to try and squat 80 kilos for six reps now i know for some people that might not be a lot or it might be a lot and i don't often like talking about how much weight exactly i use but i did think when i mentioned the hip thrust thing and i said how i wanted to hit 200 kg for i can't remember how many reps it was now but i think a lot of people actually found it quite interesting to hear what my goal was with a certain weight i often don't like to share exact weights because obviously everybody's different and some people might be able to lift way more some people might want be able to lift way less and it doesn't kind of mean you're better or not, if you know what I mean. Like, I don't really like that part of the gym where people get really competitive over if you can lift, if, like, you're better because you lift more sort of thing. There's so many different factors as to why you might be able to, because I can lift really heavy in hip thrust, but I can't so much in squats, and I think that's because I need to work a little bit more on my core to get that stronger to lift more on my squats too. And I just feel like squats are a bit more scary. <laughs> hip thrust, I, I just... I'm in my element when I'm hip thrusting. <laughs> that probably sounds a bit weird because it's a little bit of a weird movement, isn't it? But I'm just in my element with a hip thrust and I, th I feel like loads of us probably are. Like, we can probably hip thrust more than we can squat. Although, I'm not sure Niall can. I think Niall actually squats more than he hip thrusts, so interesting. But anyway, that is just one thing that I'm a little bit more focused on weight for, is just that, because I think at the moment I can do about five, but I usually need a spot on the fifth one, and I'd like to try and try and do six reps alone on those squats. Today I did do 80 kilos for five, but the last two reps Carl did spot me on. So I just want to try and see over the next eight weeks if I can get that a bit smoother. Then we've got ab wheel twice a week, so I'm going to do my little wheel because I want to work on my core a little bit more because I think I do neglect it a little bit. Three to four sprints a week. So in the new glow guide, they are written in as the weeks progress. They kind of increase a little bit. Probably three a week, four a week is quite a lot, but I'll see how I feel. If I feel a bit, I don't know the word that I want there, but if I'm feeling it, I will do a fourth, but that is quite a lot of sprinting. I just really enjoy sprinting and I feel like just visually makes the biggest difference to my body. 12K steps a day. So as I said earlier, I want to try and up my step count slightly, just see if I can and just be a little bit more active. I want to follow the glow plan. That is one of them in here. So I've just launched a new guide in my app Beyond and it's all based around the build up to my wedding now obviously you don't need to be a bride to be to do it but i just thought it was a nice storyline for the guide because i want to feel my absolute best most confident healthiest fittest for my wedding day and um yeah it's all about just feeling your best self the glow guide and glowing from within glowing on the outside and i just hope i feel glowing on my wedding day <laughs> So that's where the name came from. So yeah, it's just all about feeling your best. And it's an intense guide, it's an advanced guide. It's basically written, so there's two lower body sessions a week, two upper and one cardio. The first lower body session, which we did today, is usually throughout all of the weeks, just five moves and that's it. And it's really focusing on nailing kind of like your juicy, standard best sort of big lift moves. So there will almost always be a squat in there, possibly a hip thrust, although there wasn't today. Um, lunges, leg press, probably Bulgarians at points too, from what I remember. And yeah, just those like the best I find. Deadlifts as well. It'll slightly adjust like after like four weeks, usually I write it so that you kind of progressive overload where you slightly shift your moves after about four weeks into the plan. So yeah, then there's the second lower day, which is a, is more focused on the glutes and has slightly more accessory exercises to finish. So kind of the smaller movements to really target the smaller parts of your glute muscles after you've done like hip thrusts and you know, your more 
compound lifting moves. And then we've got two upper days, so push and pull, and then one cardio session a week as well, which I'm really excited about. They're very, very high intense, and there's a mix in there of kind of Stairmaster workouts, but also some really interesting and tough treadmill workouts that will include things like sprints and uphill walk, and then back to a jog, and then back to a sprint. So it's gonna be really intense, but I'm excited for them because I think it'll be good. And then there's kind of some sprints dotted about in the upper body day. So that is kind of my workout split now for the next eight weeks. And if you'd like to join on to the guide, then please come and join us because we're all starting today. But if you're late, it's fine. You can just jump in and um, yeah, just you, you'll still feel like you're doing it with us, even if you're a week difference or whatever. It's just a guide that is hopefully going to give you amazing progress like it is definitely the best workout plan i've ever written obviously it's, it's what you put in as well that's the other thing i want to say is like what you put in is going to be what you results you see so if you work really hard and follow the plan as it is because it is written with progressive overload then you should see some good progress last countdown to my wedding i literally can't believe we're getting married next month <laughs> I can't believe it. I want to try to do five pull-ups. I never ever could do pull-ups until recently. I can do three at the moment, so I really want to try and get to five. And how I'm going to do that, and how I think I'm even able to do them now, is because of those assisted pull-ups. So I'm like, you know when I do them on a barbell, and they're like here, and I'm kind of like this. <laughs> those ones. So, so good. So much better than pull-up machines, I think. You know the ones where you, you're proper on a machine, and your knees are on a pad do the assisted pull-ups on, on just a general barbell from like sitting, amazing. They've really, really improved my pull-ups, so I'm gonna try and get five. And then I wanna integrate yoga once a week, so I'm gonna try and start the seven day challenge, which I really wanted to do last week when we were in Ibiza, but it just didn't happen because we were doing like 12 to 14 hour days and I just couldn't slot it. <laughs> we're gonna try and do that because I wanna work on my flexibility and just my mindset. Right. That was the longest blab in the universe. <laughs> Big chat about goals and how I'm going to achieve them. And I hope that maybe it'll inspire you to work towards a goal that you want. I would love to know how your goals are going too. Because when I did set myself the other ones, lots of you said you'd set yourself one or two at the same time. So let me know in the comments how your goals are going. But anyway, this is definitely cold after that 10 minute chat. So I'm going to pop this in the microwave. <laughs> which I prefer to be honest because all the parmesan will melt then. But... I hope that that kind of gives you a little insight into my sort of fitness update for the next while because I'm really going to try and work hard now and um, just feel the best sort of fittest I can but not put too much pressure on myself because I feel like there's a lot of sort of stigma around women losing weight for their wedding dress if that's not what you want to do that is not what you need to do and there is no pressure the point in my guide is not for you to like lose weight for your wedding dress, it's to feel your best, whatever that means to you. So um, yeah, I hope that that sort of comes across in what I'm saying, because I do get a little bit worried when I talk about these kind of things, but yeah, obviously some people do want to lose weight, some people want to feel stronger, some people want to, you know, get stronger core, some people want to get stronger upper body, and all these things you will be able to do with glow. So stop blabbing and eat my tuna pasta. What a nice sound that is. That's a horrible like sound. Wait, wait, let me do People it. People don't like that sound. <laughs> it's worse when it's slower. So what? Hi, Al. She says I'm, in the song. I'm peeping that out. That's too much. That's what she says in that song, though. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we are currently making some dinner together. So, you gonna talk us through what we're doing? We're just doing some quick quesadillas. Uh, we've just marinated some chicken, onions, peppers. Gonna kind of fry inspired it. after our Mexican food in America, right? Yeah, a little bit. We've yeah. been making more Mexican since we've been back. So, what have you put in the chicken? So, this is this is chicken, the moist. It's just sound. like spices and a bit of chipotle paste. Lovely. And garlic. And we're make, we're cutting up some vegetables. I have actually been doing it too. She cut up the peppers. I did the peppers. I got the onion. Niall's so quick at cutting onion, look at this. Well, no, don't put pressure on <laughs> You said to show them. No, the garlic, I better. Oh, I thought it was onion. Um, Go on, give us a, give us a chef's. <laughs> That's, that is really quick. 
when I cut in the end, it's all falling all over the shop. It's a bit messy. Riveting, though, but riveting but content, messy. this. I'm also a glazed donut again. Can you see? All of the skincare. I've just done my skincare. I've had a shower. I have got in my pajamas. I'm ready for bed. Ready for bed. The oh, jet lag is kicking back in. <laughs> Ten I days off. Yeah, see, we're debating whether to watch the new Batman film. Niall has watched it. I want to watch it again. I would watch it, but it's like three hours long. Yeah, I know. I do know what you mean. On a Monday a night, a that's a bit excessive, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit of a But it is a bank holiday we Monday We should have watched night, it last night. So. That's what we should have done. I know, we should have. To be, I actually do want to watch it because of Rob, Robert Pattinson. He's really good in it. Is he? It's a really good film. I, I do like him sure. after the good old Twilight days. <laughs> Anyway, we are making some enchiladas together. Wait, no, is that right? Not enchiladas, quesadillas. Quesadillas. Yeah, yeah, so these are. <laughs> your, your bands come off so I had to take mine off in Ibiza. Oh, it was I was so me. sad. I like cool. No, I was so sad. Yeah, I was a bit like, oh, that's it. That's that was the life. last moment. We, do you know what we need to do, though? We need to, I was just saying to Niall, we need to develop this camera. Because this camera came out with us every night in Coachella and it has flash, so I'm black and white, so I feel like it's going to look really vintagey. Yeah, it looks cool. I really want to develop some them. Of the crowd, like, up here, I hope it was. Did you really? Yeah, they came out good, yeah. <laughs> that would be questionable. Oh, don't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who else does it? Does the voice thing on cam? David Attenborough. <laughs> You'd like that one, wouldn't you? Everyone. I bet we Everyone could find Dua Lipa and you love, you quite like Dua Lipa, don't you? <laughs> no, not like, like <laughs> you can get me back. <laughs> have Dua in the bed tonight. <laughs> Come back down when you need me. No, but if you it. actually need me to help, I will help. I wasn't sure there was much else I, I could I'll really do. Right. Also, I can put the football on actually. If any of you have not tried, this zero sugar Fanta, you know like after a meal you always want something sweet but you're not necessarily still hungry. This will fulfill. I will be having a caramel sounds, egg as well. Yeah. But they, they are just nice so like when you really fancy something sweet it's just great. I'm trying to stick to this and a cream egg for the evening. Most evenings. Yes, we go but I'm struggling sometimes. a bit. I, I need to get rid of the Nutella jar in the cupboard. <laughs> you, know, you, you scoff in that at like midnight. But yeah, these are so nice. They don't taste any different from the normal Fantas, but they've obviously got so much less of the sugary. It's shit. actually remarkable how much how much they how similar they taste, isn't it? Yeah, and if you like fruit twists like me. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little f yoga flow. I'm gonna do day one. I'm just fixing my chair that you're on. I'm gonna do day one of the seven day yoga challenge. Probably with a little bit of a shambles. I'm so unflexible and just not experienced in yoga, but the seven day challenge Emily has created is kind of good for people who are not the best, <laughs> like me. Also guys, I've got to show you these before I get into this yoga. I ordered these shoes for my hen. My hen is coming up, I can't believe it. But I ordered these shoes for my hen. Butterfly range. These look like a crossover of butterflies and beyond because of the colour. How stunning are they? They look so nice on as well. And I got these ones. Oh, I can't get them the right way around. How cute are they? I feel like because on my head I mainly want to just wear white outfits It'll be nice to have like a snazzy shoe because most of my outfits are going to be quite sort of plain. They're from Ego I never really shopped there, but Somebody told me about the collection on DM and I was I just had a look and they had so many nice butterfly things So I just wanted to share that because they were just sat up here because I opened them up When I got back from my trip. Gorgeous! Anyway, cue the yoga Montage. I really wanted to get it right. Trying to find some balance in my life. Guess what? What? I feel like a new woman after that yoga. Oh, you went to do yoga? <laughs> I said 
that. I thought you were like doing something for Beyond to do with Beyond. I didn't realise. <laughs> no, you... no, I was just doing yoga. Oh, you actually, what did you do? I did a little. Oh, what, what the, I wanted to do that. Yeah, well, you could do it too. Okay. But I, I didn't finish it. I had 10 minutes left of my session and thought that you might need me, so. What's your goals with yoga? I just want to get more flexible and like more mobile. Flexible? Yeah. I'm not very mobile. <laughs> Not, you're not the most flexible person. I'm not the most flexible. No, do you know what she's got on Beyond? A split tutorial. That's what I need to do. And then you like keep coming back to it and progress. She's do she's um, filming a headstand one at the moment as well. But we got them down, haven't we? We got what? The headstands down. Mm, yeah, kind of. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if I'd be that confident doing one no, again. No, maybe not that. It was really, really good and really relaxing. So I'm going to do the last 10 minutes when we go up to bed. You can do it with me if you want. Yeah. Dog well, pose, is... cat pose, baby pose. <laughs> them ones. You sound so common. What? You sound so common. Why don't... All them ones. <laughs> them ones. Those ones. Saws. Downward dog. Cat... What's the cat word? Cat pose. Um, Child pose. Cat, cat pose cow, And then you do cobra. <laughs> That's what I was just doing. This is our dinner. Looks stunning. Thank you. That's okay. That's all right. And this would be good for a recipe book. Yeah, definitely. Niall's currently writing a recipe book. <laughs> just gave away your secrets. <laughs> I've said it about a million yeah, times no. already. No, this. but you actually are now, aren't you? As well. You actually are doing it now, aren't I'm you? Actually, I'm doing it. Who's on? He's on route, isn't he, Baz? Try to stop me. <laughs> you need to get a picture of him in there somewhere. Oh yeah. <laughs> This is my helper. Oh my god, in like the index page <laughs> or the contents page. <laughs> my sous yeah. chef. Yeah. <laughs> I put a little chef hat on him. My little sous chef. He's like ratatouille. He needs to sit in your hat. Cute boy. He's just had his dinner as well and he's still just, begging. Just pigging. pigging around. Pigging about. Just pigging about. <laughs> These look so nice though. So, what do you reckon? We get some of this. There. Yeah, it can so, some say this too. is a recipe book. Do you reckon lettuce there? Yeah, it looks good there on top. Do you reckon? And then I do a little um, squiggle of sour cream. I was going to do and sriracha salsa. mayo. All that. Because it looks <laughs> But cool. I'm definitely having where's sour this, cream. Where's, sour cream with any Mexican food is just my favourite thing. But anyway, we are going to. Oh no. <laughs> You're running a bit low. <laughs> That's not going to look very nice. That's not going to look very nice. We're going to eat this and. Sit and watch some telly. Do you know what? I was thinking, I want to tell you about this series that I recently finished, which I was so obsessed with. I watched the end one on the plane. The end one. The last one on the plane. If you haven't watched The Split on BBC, it's so good. And just, just so heartwarming, like the music and the... I don't know. My fr best friend Bri told me about it ages ago and I never got into it because I think the it Yeah, but it's just the, the characters are so great and the actors are so great. That's why it's so good. Like it's it's quite just normal lifey. It's not super dramatic or crimey or you know anything out of the box that happens. But it you just yeah. But that usually means it's better, right? Well, if it's a good story, otherwise it's just really boring. Yeah, like, yeah, but if you got good actors too, then yeah, if things are good. Like when, yeah, I like things like that. You, you, you I'll you. watch it again with you. Cheers. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, just a little recommendation. But I'm not watching that right now. I'm gonna watch EastEnders, but I'm really sad that it's over. So, anyway. I think I'm actually going to finish this vlog up here because I've talked at you so much and I was thinking of bringing you on shoot tomorrow but we're shooting, we're actually shooting with some of the Beyond Ambassadors which is really exciting but also we're shooting with the new face that's coming into Beyond and I can't really um, share too much yet and the minute you see her, I mean you guys know her <laughs> if you watch my vlogs, cryptic but I just don't want to give it away, I want her to have him launch you know what I mean so the moment I was going to say that's what I mean so anyway I'm not going to bring you to the shoot but yeah I hope you enjoyed this vlog thank you so much for watching my throat made it through it sounds better than this morning doesn't it after all my chatting today yeah a little bit of a husk but it's nice a little bit of a <laughs> it's nice I quite like it I quite like it I am definitely going to have one of these after my dinner I don't think I ever. Oh, my, oh no, you didn't finish. Oh no, you didn't finish them. What, the, these ones are my favourite. Yeah, these are my favourite, and these are Niall's favourite. 
cream egg. Me and Carl were saying the other day, we've never met someone who likes cream eggs until you, you're obsessed with them. Like, we, no one really understands why, because they're just a bit random. They were the Easter egg I used to hate when I was a kid. <laughs> I, I used to get about 38 of those every year. I used to have the <laughs> 12 intense. box, the 6 box, a massive actual Easter egg box with like a pack of 6 in. That's intense, isn't it, Baz? He's in the snack cupboard like, oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. It's good with the sriracha tomato, doesn't it? Oh yeah, look at that. See, you just know how to make food look amazing. Well, some things, not everything. It's quite difficult sometimes. No, it looks looks amazing. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for I watching. I really hope you're okay. Me too. And I will hopefully see you very soon for another video. Very soon. <laughs>